Year 12, how have we found our first term of A-levels? Good, I hope. Um, it's kind of like at this point that people were starting to feel a little bit comfortable, starting to feel a comfort, and I only say starting. I do not expect you to feel 100% happy or 100% confident with your choices yet because A-levels are hard. So you're always going to have doubts about whether you've picked exactly the right things or whether you should be doing something else or whether you should be doing something different. So don't worry, those doubts, those kind of like, oh, I'm not really sure about this, are completely normal feelings. Everyone is feeling like that. Now, I just want you to have a look at the year 13s, and I just want to have a look at the year 11s, and start to notice that they're doing their mocks, and they're starting to feel a little bit stressed. So kind of like, well, year 12 probably feels kind of like um, a nice, maybe slightly relaxed year, compared to the pressure of year 11 and the pressure of year 13. If we want to make sure that year 13 is a happy, smiley year, then we need to start revising that. Yes, I know, it's year 12 and it's December, um, but we really, really need to start revising now. Now, I don't mean doing hours and hours and hours over the holidays because the most important thing you need to be doing over the holidays is relaxing and recharging and making sure that when you go back to school in January, you're, you're kind of like relaxed. But there are lots of easy things that you can do now that will make your life in year 11 easier. So one of the best things that's been proven over and over and over again that you can do for revision is retrieval practice. And that basically means doing lots of short questions over and over and over again. This doesn't have to be hugely time consuming. This could be 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there, five minutes one day, 10 minutes on different subjects the next day. But the idea is that the more that you do it, the better you'll get at it. It's, it's a skill that you're learning. So what I want is for when we go into the exams, you doing your A-level exams is like tying a shoelace because you practice that lots and lots and lots instead of doing your driving test, which some of you are starting to drive and I bet it doesn't feel, well, it probably feels a bit weird, kind of like you didn't really know what you're doing, but with tiny she likes, you've done that so many times, you do know what you're doing. And that's what I really, really want for you. So to help you with this, I have written you thousands and thousands of multiple choice questions. Um, A-level chemistry, A-level biology, that's on my website, A-level math is currently being done. And there are free courses up there to help you. So these are synoptic retrieval practice. I know that's such a teacher thing for me to say. But basically means it's mixed up bits of the course so that it's not just one thing that you're practicing. You can use this to identify any gaps and it's quick questions going over and over and over and over stuff so that it does go from oh my god I've got to do a roundabouts to on time my shoelaces this is absolutely no problem at all so what I really really want for you is to spend a little bit of time thinking about how you revise now this can be taking what you've done taking all the equations the units the keywords the quotes whatever it is you just have to learn and turn it into flashcards. Now these can be actual physical flashcards, these can be flashcards on Quizlet or whatever online platform you want to use or actually just setting up an account on Quizlet and seeing the flashcards that other people have made. You don't even need to make them yourself. But spending some time now kind of like doing, I want to call it a little bit of admin to get things sorted out or make things a lot easier for you later on. Now what I mean by admin, it's kind of like getting the flashcards sorted, make sure your notes are all written up nicely, make sure you've got decent worked examples for everything, um, making sure your folders are in order and they're tidy and it's not just a massive pile of paper that's in the bottom of your bag that you forget about for two weeks or three weeks and then you get them out in January and you realise you left an apple in there and they've all gone mouldy and had to be thrown away because that will happen. So please don't do that. Please use this time to do kind of like sensible course admin to get your head around things, to put things in place that will really, really help you later on, like the retrieval practice, like the flashcards, um, getting your pay, your folder sorted, getting your notes sorted, making sure you've got a checklist of everything that you need to know. So I'm not saying you need to do loads and loads of hardcore hours and hours and hours of revision over the holiday. The most important thing is to relax and the second most important thing is to get organised and get sorted. Um, I've got lots and lots of things coming up for you guys. Um, you are in literally like the best year ever because I'm doing so much stuff for A-level. Um, then yeah, we can do this. Ow!
coach. This is why in some videos I have had explained scratches.